arrow is pointing as we can see towards the flange and the other arrows will be pointing to the gearbox flange and speaking of gearbox flange I think uh, we go and uh, we need to take it off um, and yeah let's uh, let's go and see what's going on over there so today guys we will be looking at uh, rebuilding the shifter linkage and um, as you can see here I have the old one and it has seen better days so the main reasons why I'm changing is because it's been welded here here and also here I don't know it's just uh, all nasty and uh, not good so what I have done is I have sourced another one and that we can see here I already cleaned it up a little bit so have the arm nice and clean we have the shifter linkage and um, I was thinking to go maybe short shifter original BMW something like that but I don't know it's not easy to find uh, and uh, they're kind of pricey and I think I'm gonna go with this for now we see the cup I was thinking to order a new one but then uh, this is in fairly good condition so no need there was also an o-ring and we also have pressed out the it was fairly simple the bushing so what we will do next is uh, we will uh, rebuild it, put it together. I brought everything uh, home with me. So we have clean arm, we have clean uh, lever, we have the selector rod. Um, what I have bought is uh, I bought a new bushing that goes into the arm. I bought the washers, these ones. I have the O-rings, the new uh, foam pad uh, clip. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, I'm gonna be reusing this clip. Uh, there's another clip, just uh, holds everything together. I got myself some uh, MOS2 uh, molybdenum sulfide uh, grease. Uh, I have a clean cup here, as you can see here. Washed up fairly good. Uh, the O ring will oil that a little bit. So, yeah, and then I also have the the boot, uh, it has a small hole in here, uh, I think I'm uh, gonna glue it up, uh, other than that it's in a nice shape, also the wiring is in nice shape, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start putting this uh, together. What you guys saw me do is uh, basically putting this uh, locking ring, this plastic white ring uh, into the tabs that uh, lock into these grooves here and uh, yeah, it's a bit pain in the ass but uh, other than that it's, uh, it's good, it's coming along nicely, it moves smoothly, uh, no binding, no sand kind of feeling inside. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the rest of the things. So we have finally managed to assemble everything here. We put the rubber boot, wire the wire. Uh, I have the plastic clip that holds the wire on the other side somewhere, so we'll find that. Um, and of course, right now I cannot install the the foam pad uh, because it goes on the selector rod arm, I think it's called or something like that. Uh, but I managed to put in also the washers and or the washer and the O-rings here with the circ clip. This is now uh, ready to, almost ready to go uh, on a car, uh, so as you can see here. I put the two uh, nylon washers there and I uh, managed to put in the clip. Moves nice and uh, smooth and uh, uh, yeah, without any play or anything. So, so let's uh, continue with the other things and uh, I'm looking forward to drive this thing. Hello guys, so today uh, what I'm gonna attempt to do now is uh, 
to clean up this area here of the gearbox uh, as we can see there's quite a bit of oil and I believe the main leakage is from where the input uh, or from the where the selector rod uh, shaft is uh, there's a seal over there it's leaking probably and probably the output shaft seal that is also leaking so I have both seals new and uh, before I start removing stuff here I would like to clean up this gearbox a little bit uh, of course the ideal situation would be to remove it but uh, no space, no tools, no time, <laughs> the usual. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <clears throat> let's try to, to clean up as best as we can like this uh, and uh, we'll take it from there. So let's uh, go ahead and do that now. I can squish them. So basically what I will do now is I will just support the gearbox with the jack and uh, I will take out the the support here together with the bushings and I'll support the gearbox with the jack stand uh, with the floor jack that will give me more access here uh, to do the cleaning so uh, yeah I wish me luck <laughs> As you can see, I have cleaned up a little bit, it's much better, uh, but um, for now we'll stop. I have supported the gearbox with the floor jack. And uh, now I have also undone the, the bolt uh, that holds the, the flange. And uh, we can see it here. Uh, the, the bolt is all hacked up, I barely uh, took it off here. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, and uh, we'll take off the flange in order to, to change the 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 seal here, and also we'll change the seal that is uh, for the selector rod up top there because uh, everything is leaking here, and uh, we'll take it from there I think. So uh, yeah, let's pull off this flange and uh, give it a final rinse down here and uh, change the seals. Let's go. Quick update guys, so as you can see I have managed to take out both of the seals, so the selector uh, rod seal and the the main uh, rear uh, flange seal, I don't know how you're gonna call it, and uh, yeah, here's the the old uh, seal, it was pain in the butt to, to remove but we did it, and uh, here we have the new seals, the flange seal, the selector rod seal um, yeah everything is really nice and good here uh, we will just clean this up um, I also got myself some uh, a spline sealer here uh, that's what the manual calls for so that the oil doesn't seep out through here and through the nut for the threads and uh, yeah so there's also that and uh, yeah I cleaned up the, the, the flange itself and uh, we have new nut we have new uh, locking uh, washer this is the old nut five second <laughs> this is the old nut uh, so somebody really mangled it up I have a new one uh, other than that uh, let's continue it's going really well so uh, let's go ahead and continue here
So guys, I uh, also installed the the seal here. Everything is nice and clean here. And the top one is installed. This one is installed. Now what I have here with me is is the the sealer, new nut and the new uh, lock washer. And also I have a mess here with me, but uh, it's okay. And also I have the, the flange, I uh, have cleaned it up as best as I could. And uh, yeah, now we will just be putting everything nicely together. I have oiled up the mating surface. Now I'll put some sealant on the nut, on the threads and on the splines of the flange. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Finally guys, uh, I managed to torque the nut here, it was a bit uh, sketchy, uh, but uh, I managed in the end. Uh, I didn't have the socket, I just had this kind of key, uh, like a tube shaped key. Um, so yeah, uh, there was no good way to put on the torque wrench, but uh, yeah, I tightened it into two stages. First, uh, according to the manual, it says 170 Newton meters. Then uh, loosen up and then tighten to 120, so that's what I have done. Uh, so seal replaced, new um, a new seal uh, up top uh, for the selector rod, new nut, new uh, locking uh, washer. So everything nice and cool here, so this is ready to receive the both the linkage. Uh, and of course it's also... Uh, Welcome to or <laughs> and of course it's ready to receive the um, the prop shaft here. So uh, I think the next thing we will do is we'll have a look at the um, at the linkage and uh, hopefully we will install everything inside here. Uh, so yeah, it's going really well. I'm really happy. So let's continue. Here is the uh, shifting arm that we have been assembling and uh, it looks all nice and clean. I have uh, installed all new parts. I installed the, the nice little uh, pad in there, uh, the pin, the everything. Basically everything is ready to go and uh, be assembled in the car. Uh, we have refreshed uh, the original bushing. I cleaned it up and gave it a coat of paint. Uh, inside the, the original bushing in the gaps I put in some, um, some glue, uh, rubber glue sealant uh, sealant slash glue so it's a little bit stronger um, and yeah um, pin came out so yeah it's ready for reassembly so let's go ahead under the car and install this uh, this new or <laughs> rebuilt uh, arm Finally, I managed to install everything here. It's so good. Uh, the bolt here is tight, or the nut is tight. Uh, we have installed the bushing, everything. We have also lowered the gearbox a little bit uh, in order to put in that clip, uh, which worked out perfectly. Um, everything is secure on this end, everything is secure on this end. The gears are changing beautifully. There is a bit of uh, play. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, also, there's a bit of play on here, but everything is new here. Like, uh, 
the bushing over there is new, uh, new O-rings, new pad in there. Um, so yeah, I mean overall it's uh, it should be fine, I think. Um, so yeah, and the gears are changing uh, really nicely, so I'm really happy. Uh, we can go inside and have a look at uh, how they change. Have to admit it's a little bit dark in here, but. Uh, I think that is uh, really not bad. Uh, so, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Beautiful. And then the reverse. Really nice, also. So, yeah, all in all, is uh, quite good. I'm quite happy uh, how this turned out. Um, I need to see that cable and what's happening with it over there. But other than that, it's uh, really good, really good. Yeah.